YouTube, what is good? It is a new year, it is a new decade. Thank you for tuning in. How you living, how you feeling? <laughs> okay, if you're new to my channel, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're not new, thank you for clicking on my face. <laughs> All right, so let us get started. As you saw by the title, I want to do a couple different things. So let's dive into the first one. My Christmas present. <laughs> I have to give Richard his props. He bought all of this stuff and I never even told him what I wanted for Christmas. So uh, you did good, kid. You did good. Now I already filmed a first impressions of this, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Pattern Beauty by the lovely Tracy Ellis Ross. Okay, so this is not an unboxing, I'm just taking them out of a box. Richard knows me so well. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about it. Oh, this is still wet. All right, so I did a review on this. I've been using pattern for a couple months now, so now we can like get into like my full on how do I feel about it rather than just a first impression. So we have the shampoo. Oh, that's like not in frame. It's just, it just refuses to be in frame. <laughs> then we have the conditioner. Then we have the leave-in conditioner. Then we have the jojoba oil. I did not try this in the last video. We have the shower brush, the clip, the hair clip, We have the microfiber towel. And then it also came with a card. There's some words on it. I'm not gonna read it because this video is gonna be long enough as it is. <laughs> okay, so let me talk about, all right. So my thoughts are pretty much still the same on this. I really like it. It works very well. She did a fabulous job with this. Um, Again, I do not personally care for the smell. I prefer to smell like sunshine and tropical rainbows, and this is just very perfumey. It smells more perfumey in the bottle than it does in your hair though, so that's a good thing. But again, this is just personal preference. It, it smells good, it's just not my thing. Um, so here's how my general like wash day goes. I sing and dance, and then I sing, I sing and dance. That's how I start off. And then I sing and dance once I get in the shower. Then I shampoo and rinse with a medium to soft bristle brush twice. And then I go in with, I do a, a conditioner, I do a deep conditioning. So I like lather this on, get it real thick and whatnot. And um, basically wear it as a mask. So I let that sit in my hair and then I soap up, wash up, and then as I rinse off, I rinse out my hair and I detangle it with a white tooth comb and then a fine tooth comb. And then depending on how dirty I feel like my hair is, I will go back in and shampoo one more time. But again, that's only, that's if I'm feeling a little uh, frowsy. But uh, <laughs> so the only thing that's different is that I got some accessories I have the jojoba oil and then this conditioner. This is actually the heavy conditioner because if you remember from the last video, I actually only tra tried the travel sizes. As you can see, these are full size. And I had the medium conditioner. This one is the heavy, which means Richard was paying attention because I said I wanted to try this one. Now, y'all, this thing is thick with two seeds. I mean thick, thick, like I put it in my hand and I could toss it around like Play-Doh thick. Whoa, <laughs> um, 
I, I don't know that it worked any differently than the medium one, but man, oh man. <laughs> Whoa, this is some heavy duty right product right here. Um, so that's the first thing that's different. And, um, oh, right. Also, I forgot to mention this. So once I'm done with the conditioning and shampoo, I go in with, I like the lock system, leave-in conditioner, oil, cream. I had the Cantu versions. So now with pattern, I've been doing the leave-in conditioner. Now I get to use the jojoba oil. And she doesn't have a cream yet. So I don't know expansion of products in the future pattern waiting on it so hopefully she'll come out with a cream so for now i still use the cantu uh curling cream um and then i pretty much dry off with the microfiber towel and then i don't really style my hair it does what it wants after the wash process is over um that's how it lives its life <laughs> i'm just a vessel <laughs> so now to the accessories here's the thing you really don't need these i was gifted them so i'm going to use them but if you don't already have these unless you just want something that's a little higher quality you don't really need to buy these you could find something cheaper are they nice yes this brush i'm not tender headed but for whatever reason my head was tender i guess so this was a little rough um on my scalp but i'm sure it's probably not always like this so this kind of did a good job of replacing like my two comb method system so <laughs> i'll probably i will use this more in the future and again the microfiber towel it is nice like i said but if you don't already have one you don't unless you just want something higher quality you don't really need this if you've seen my other videos, I have a little gray turban looking thing. That's a microfiber head wrap that I got for like, I don't know, six bucks at Ross. <laughs> it's it's really up to you. Um, but yeah, so that was my that was my gift. And okay, okay, so when I got this, I took a picture of it and I posted it on Instagram as you do sometimes with things, and I tagged Pattern and Tracy Ellis Ross. Pattern Beauty reposted my story and I almost lost my, ah, I almost died. <laughs> I almost died. I am not a fangirl kind of person as awe-inspiring as celebrities can be. They're still people and I don't ever want to be the crazy person, but I almost lost my mind. <laughs> oh, okay, my crazy moment is over. So, um, Tracy Ellis Ross, Pattern Beauty, thank you for taking the time, energy, and effort to create this brand, this line. Again, not everything works for everybody, but this works for me, and this is the best my hair has ever felt. I love it. So, I'm a fan. You gonna make some money off of me. It's just, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm not complaining. But uh, yeah, so. Now that that's over, I want to go into the next thing, which is basically just my year in review. So my year pretty much starts in 2018. Um, and to give you some context, I've been working as a Starbucks barista at Target for about six years. And I... At some point when retail and food service isn't what you want to be doing with the rest of your life, you get really tired of it. So in January 2018, I started working as a caregiver from one of Richard's co-workers to her grandmother, Miss Rose. Hey, Miss Rose. Um, and I was still working at Target and that became physically exhausting and something had to give. So in March 2018, I put in a year long leave from Target. And then I did the caregiving full time. Well, in October 2018 of that year, obviously, October 2018, I, days before my birthday and days before Richard and I went on our honeymoon cruise, they decided to send Miss Rose back to the Virgin Islands. And so I was out of a job, just like that. Um, I don't feel any type of way about it. 
But the reality is it didn't even hit me that like, you don't have an income anymore until December because it was just a lot of things happening. And so I just, it never had time to just sink in that like, sis, <laughs> you jobless. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was, that was a new feeling for me. I'd never not had a job before. Now, this is where the struggle came in because I was still on leave from Target. I had until March 2019 to go back, but I was literally miserable at Target. And when you get to that point, especially after spending a year away from them, I did not want to go back. I struggled with responsibility and sensibility over just doing what I wanted and it was such oh my gosh it was such a hard decision I, I had numerous conversations with Richard about this we went back and forth about this for the longest or should I say I did because his response was the same hey you want to go to school go to school you want to work you go work you want to build a business build a business if you want to stay home and do absolutely nothing you can do it I support whatever your decision is 110%. I got you, I got us. I love that man, but that did not help me. <laughs> it did not help me at all. And I get it, I get it. It was a choice only I could make, but boy, was it a hard one. <laughs> um, eventually, it just kind of boiled down to my peace of mind, which is what I had when I was not at Target. So I had until March 20th to tell them whether I was coming back or not. And on March 15th, I went in there and I was like, yep, I'm not coming back. <laughs> so that was the most freeing, most terrifying thing I have ever done. I mean, I have been like I said, I've been work. I have moved. I've been moved out on my own, working, paying bills, taking care of myself for years. And to then allow myself to be in a position where Richard is the only one making consistent money, that was a struggle. And honestly, even now, sometimes it still is, but Again, he and I had many, many conversations and the reality is the way that we want to live our lives together and the things that we are setting in place for our lives together, this just is the best scenario for us. So now that is how the, that is how my years, that's how my 2019 started and YouTube kind of just came up in the mix because I had been joking about it. Like, what if I had a YouTube channel? Like, I don't know. Ah, this is just so much work. I don't know nothing about video editing. And then finally one day Richard was just like, one, like, <laughs> I think, I don't remember exactly when it happened, but he was like, you're joking, but like, no, seriously, you should start a YouTube channel. And I looked at him and I said, you know what? Absolutely not. No, like, <laughs> no, I don't know anything about video editing. I don't even need to be a YouTuber to know how much work goes into that. Social media, posting, pictures, updates, editing, all of that. I don't have money to pay someone to do it for me, which means I would have to learn how to do it. I don't know how to do any of those things. No, I'm just not. Nope. Nope. That's too much. I'm not doing it. Needless to say. Hey, hi, hello, Mel Logan, YouTube-er. Um, <laughs> hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Here we are. Um, and the crazy part about it is, you know, like one of the only reasons Richard even, I mean, there's two main reasons Richard suggested this is because if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm really, I love crafts and DIY, stuff like that. So he felt that this was a good way to not only give me something to do when I have downtime, but also to put myself out there and hopefully help me to build a brand, which is something I'm not good at. So any of you business people out there who wanna help a girl out, 
get at me. I'm more than willing to work with people. Um, so that's how I started and this has nothing to do with money. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, um, I just do this for fun and I kind of just want to have fun with other people which is honestly the main reason why I ask for subscribers. Now it, the reality is in doing this, I did a lot of research before I just decided to do this. I didn't just up and be like, yep, I'm making YouTube videos now. I did a lot of research into this, I mean like three months worth. So um, <laughs> I, one of the things that I noticed in doing that research is that basically everyone just says just start, just start. It doesn't really matter what it's about, what it is, how it looks, what kind of camp, the equipment you have, just start, just do it. And also, even though I don't do this for money, I think it was video influencers said this, you are always just one post away from your entire life changing. And I think that's very true. Um, but again, that would just be kind of like a bonus <laughs> if my YouTube channel just took off overnight. <laughs> that would just be a bonus. Until then, I literally just have fun doing these things. I still hate editing with a passion, but <laughs> it's just part of the process. Um, I just like doing these, I just like making these videos and then sharing them with people. So that's why I'm here. And uh, yeah, so that's how my year started. That's how I got into YouTube. And then the rest of the year was pretty simple. My best friend got married this year. I was in their wedding. I planned a bridal shower, a bachelorette. Richard and I went to Jamaica for his birthday. We, um, then we turned like right around like a couple days after that and went up to New York to see his sister while she was in town from Tanzania and see his dad and spend some time with them. Um, I'm actually working on that video now. <laughs> you know, all I gotta say about that, Richard, his sister, karaoke. Ooh, ooh, it's, it's just my favorite thing ever. I love it. <laughs> the two of them together, but karaoke, oh, magic. Um, <laughs> so great video, be on the lookout for that. Um, so yeah, we did New York, then after that, then it was my birthday and I didn't want to do anything for my birthday. That was my one request. And so what we did instead, well, my friends decided, well, you can't do nothing. So we'll give you the day. So Kiara, one of my best friends, she, she did my pre-birthday shenanigans. So she had the lovely Nico Joy bless my face with a dermaplaning facial experience in the comfort of my living room that is right. Flesh bar, cause, God, mm, Flesh bar by Nico Joy, mobile spa, she comes to you. Oh yes, it was absolutely wonderful. And the thing is, uh, she has such a passion for it and that just makes the experience so much more fun and real and relaxing. And then, I mean, facials, massages, those type of things are already things that relax you, but then to just be able to get up from the table and go chill out go chill on the couch or go lay down in your own bed is so much better than having to get dressed and drive home. <laughs> so that was absolutely amazing. Thank you, Kira, for that. Then again, then my birthday happened. I did nothing, absolutely nothing. I loved it. Um, the, the weekend prior to that, that particular weekend, Richard had drills. So we went out to dinner and a movie before that. And then the night before my birthday, I actually went to a Moonchild concert with my birthday twin, Deja. Y'all remember her, she was in one of my, she's, I talk about her a lot. Um, so she was in a, uh, we did a video together, DIY uh, last minute costumes. And I went to a Moonchild concert with her. That was really nice. I've never really, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't 
particularly care for their music necessarily, but they are beasts on them instruments. I mean, saxophones, flutes, pianos, drums. I mean, at one point they was just whistling. Like, it was so good, it was so good. <laughs> I had so much fun. We had a great time. That was a good night. Um, <laughs> then after, and then post birthday, another one of my good friends, um, Denisha, she's a Atlanta based artist. She goes by the name of Dizzy. She, if you don't know who Jadena is, you live under a rock. But she worked on his tour set and she got us free tickets to his concert and <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. I love Janetta. Um, one of my favorite moments from that night is the fact that at one point he just kind of disappeared from stage. And you can hear the music, but you don't know where he is. And then I got there late. Who cares? Whatever. I was in the back and I just noticed that there were all of a sudden there was a lot of staff by one of the exit doors. Lo and behold, they opened the door and there was Janetta. And when I say there was Jadena, he was walking through the crowd. Me, I was the crowd. I was right there. <laughs> he was right in front of me. <laughs> that was awesome. So I had a fabulous time. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Denisha. And then uh, Thanksgiving happened. We hosted Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving with the Logans uh, for the second time. And uh, it was great. Let me just say this now. I have the honor of making three, two out of the three main Thanksgiving dishes. I got the turkey and the yams. All I'm saying is I'm a boss, okay? <laughs> I make a bomb fried turkey and my, my honey bourbon sweet potatoes are to die for. So um, get at me. I'm sorry if you didn't get an invite. My Our house is only but so big. <laughs> but uh, yeah, coming for you. Uh, Thanksgiving with the Logans 2020 is it, gonna be on and popping. Um, after that, I decided that, you know what? We don't really hang out with our friends enough. So I wanted to throw an ugly sweater Christmas party. Hashtag elfed up with the Logans. Oh, it was so good. It was so, so good. We had games, we had competitions, prizes, alcohol, <laughs> food, fun, laughs. It was so good. I got to actually bring in one of our friend's birthday. Her birthday was the next night. I mean, the last set of people didn't leave until like almost four o'clock in the morning. It was such a good time. I can't wait. We're doing it again this. We're doing it again this year. Um, and then after that, it was a uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas, and then that was pretty much my year. Um, <laughs> look, uh, it's been it's been a fun one, I to say the least. And I will say one of my biggest takeaways from 2019 is that don't let anyone define you don't let anyone categorize you don't let anyone put you in a box the best thing that you can do for everyone around you especially yourself is to just be you own it live by it die by it I mean, if you have some really detrimental habits, get those in check. But outside of that, <laughs> flaws and all, you are you, it's what makes you that way. Embrace it, accept it. Um, and that for me stems from something that I'm actually still, you know, still learning, still learning to get a handle on, which is just being a wife. I. Like I said, making this decision to not work, <laughs> at least not traditionally, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done and I still struggle with it. And in my day-to-day -day life, I'm totally fine. Where it becomes an issue for me is when people ask me what I do. And then I respond with, I'm a wife. And most people are like, oh, well, I don't owe me. 
because I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you an explanation or a backstory as to why I'm just white. And the only reason it gets under my skin is because when people say that, most people look at you like you don't do nothing, you're lazy, and you're just mooching off of whoever, your significant other. And is that the case for me? No, but even if it was, what that gotta do with you? I ain't mooching off of you, so what's the problem? Like, <laughs> so I just feel like the way I see it, again, it's nobody's business, but me, God, and Richard, those are the only three opinions that matter. But the way I see it is we ain't got no kids, so I'm over here living my best life, and if you got a problem, that's you. <laughs> That is the energy I'm coming with all 2020. So, <laughs> you know, I, it's been a good year for me. I feel like this year can only get better. <laughs> so I feel like anybody who is having, is struggling with something, sometimes you just literally got grabbed by the horns and face it head on. Um, that is what I am doing every day. Someone told me that they admired the fact that I marched to the beat of my own drum. I would have never described myself in that way. So to hear someone else say it about me was genuinely heartwarming and they're right. I do. I try my best every day to do what makes sense, but what also makes me happy. And I'm never going to be ashamed about that, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I don't care who you are. I'm never going to feel bad about it. So I wish that kind of, I don't know if I call it confidence, but I wish, I wish that kind of mindset and that kind of thinking and that kind of, honestly, opportunity on all of you, on anyone. Because when you feel good about you and what you got going on, I promise you the rest of the things in life will just fall in place. So that's enough of me rambling. Um, Happy New Year's guys. It is the modern day roaring 20s and I hope this, I hope we, I hope this decade is absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Hit the bell icon for more post notifications and updates. Let's get this money, man. Bye-bye. <laughs>